Hi, Michelle Seitz here. You're watching Compare Documents. Here's the scenario. You have two different versions of the same document and you want to know what changes were made from one document to the other. So you want to compare the documents to identify the changes. Watch this video to learn how to do this. Go to the Review tab and in the Compare group, select Compare. In the drop-down, select Compare. The Compare Documents dialog box is displayed. In the Original Document field, click the folder and navigate to your original document and select Open. In the Revised Document, click the folder, navigate to your updated document and select Open. Notice this Back and Forward button. When you select this button, you can reverse the revised document and the original document. This button will hide and display some more options. In this area, you make the decision as to what will be displayed when you compare documents. In this section, choose whether you want to show the changes in the character level or the word level. In this section, you can choose whether to show the changes in the original document, in the revised document, or in a completely new document. I want to show my changes in a new document. It will preserve the documents you are comparing. You can change the file name to a more appropriate name. In this field is a drop-down. When you click on this drop-down, it will display more choices. The simple markup will only display vertical lines in the left margin, letting you know there was a change in that line. All markups will display any change that was made between the original and the updated documents. Whether it displays in line or in balloons will depend on the selection in the balloon field. If you select no markup, it will display the updated document as if all the changes were made. The original selection will only display the original document with no markup. Below that field, is the Show Markup field with a drop-down. When you click on the drop-down arrow, you have choices. The first four markups are the Comments, Ink, Insertions and Deletions, and Formatting. Place a check mark next to the items you want to see displayed. Since I don't have any ink annotations, I'm going to uncheck that item. The next item I'd like to show is called Specific People. When you click on the arrow, it will display all the reviewers that have made any changes or added comments to the document. So if you have several reviewers on your document and you wanted to see a particular viewer's changes or comments, you would select them here. Next, we'll check out the balloon dropdown. In this field, when all markup is selected, you can select show revisions in balloons to display balloons, which will display on the right side of the document in the margin. The Show All Revisions in Line will only display inline changes without the balloons. Only Comments and Formatting will display only that, the comments and or formatting. If you unchecked the formatting box, you will not be able to display the formatting changes. Next is the Reviewing pane. You have two choices, a vertical or horizontal view. When you select the vertical view, the vertical view will display your changes on the left side of the screen. When you select the horizontal view, it will display below your document. To close the reviewing pane, click it again on the drop down, or just click on the X here. The left arrow icon will move to the previous change. The right arrow will move to the next change. The accept change drop down will display more choices. With a change selected, you can accept the change. If you select Accept All Changes Shown, only the changes currently displayed will be accepted. So if you unchecked Formatting in the Show field, the formatting changes will remain. If you select Accept All Changes and Stop Tracking, all changes, displayed or not, will be accepted. The next icon will reject a single change, all changes shown, or all changes in document. If, if I right click on the change, a menu will be displayed where I can also accept or reject the change. The menu will change depending on the type of change. 
For strike through items, you will have accept and reject deletion choices, while an inserted change will have accept or reject insertion. When you make a selection, such as accept insertion, the color of the text will change to the default text color in the document. If you accept a deletion, it will no longer be displayed. You will notice on the left of the text are some vertical lines. As long as there is a change on that row, the vertical line will be displayed. As soon as you are finished with the comparison of the two documents, save your document, rename it if necessary, and close it. And that is the end of this lesson. Compare documents.